hello everyone welcome to electric motors course in this lecture we will discuss the characteristics of dc series motors characteristics of dc series motor so when we say characteristics of for any motor either it may be for shunt motor or series motor or compound motor so these are the major three characteristics that we will always study one is the torque armature current characteristics speed armature current characteristics and last one is the speed torque characteristics and these three characteristics can be uh, easily studied with the help of the using two equations we already have uh, studied these two equations that is torque developed in the dc motor that is ta is equal to 0.159 phi ia pz by a and back emf equation that is eb equal to uh, phi p zn divided by 60a so if you look at these two equations these two equations in this equation torque equation the number of poles remains constant z remains constant uh, number of parallel paths remains constant thus here we have a constant value 0.159 so if you, this torque parameter torque torque developed in the armature depends on purely on the flux and the flux and the armature current phi into i a similarly if you look at this di uh, this equation eb now uh, here phi is variable uh, p is constant z is constant a is constant so if you rewrite this uh, n is equal to so n is directly proportional to back emf and indirectly proportional to flux indirectly proportional to flux so by using these two relations by using these two relations we can draw these three characteristics of dc series motor and we need to remember one thing in dc series motor here the field winding is connected in series with the armature field winding in, is connected in series with the armature so this is the representation of the dc series motor since the, both are connected in series the line current il the field current is se and the current flowing through the armature winding ia all are equal so here ia equal to isc which is also equal to line current and since all the current uh, line current is flowing through the series field winding here series field winding the flux is not constant is not constant wherein in case of the shunt motor flux remains constant since it is connected in parallel flux remains constant here it is not connected in uh, uh, parallel it is connected in series uh, since ia depends on the load if the load increases ia increases as well as the current flowing through the field winding also increases so ia is not uh, flux is not constant in case of dc series motor and this flux depends on the armature current or series field current that is isc since isc is again equal to ia so flux is directly proportional to ia in case of the dc series motor so with these relations we can draw the these three characteristics torque armature current speed armature current and speed torque characteristics so first let us consider first characteristics that is the torque and torque versus the armature current characteristics torque versus armature current characteristics so we have, we have the relation the torque developed ta is directly proportional to flux into ia we have this relation already we studied this since flux is again directly proportional to ia so we can say this is ia square so we can see here the torque developed in the torque developed in the dc motor is directly proportional to armature current square armature current square so if you represent this in a graph if you represent this in the characteristic form in a graph by taking armature current at the x axis torque at the y axis since it is varying uh, square your characteristics will be somewhat like this somewhat like this until the ia increases until the ia increases 
the uh, IA increases, torque also increases. Uh, it is IA square. It is torque is directly proportional to IA square. So as, as as the entire IA passes through the series field winding, in this case, there is a property of an electromagnet called as a saturation. Saturation, which means uh, the current through the winding increases. The field winding, whatever the field winding we have, the current through this field winding increases. Current through this field winding increases. The flux produced remains constant. Saturation means once it reaches the saturation point, when if you increase the current, uh, then also the flux remains constant. So this relation exists. Torque is directly proportional to I square. Will holds good only till it reaches the only till it reaches the saturation point. After that, it becomes linear. So it will vary like this linearly. Uh, both will be directly proportional. So this is the torque developed in the armature. Torque developed in the armature. Mm -hmm. If you draw the shaft torque waveform for the shaft torque, we know that the Ta is equal to uh, Tf lost torque plus the shaft torque. So whatever the torque developed will be uh, some part will be lost in the uh, some part of the torque will be lost in the uh, shaft and uh, remaining will be available for the doing the useful work. So in order to overcome this loss torque, uh, there will be initial no load current, armature current that is IA naught. From this point, uh, the TSH starts. Again, uh, once it reaches uh, saturation point, this will become like this, TSH. So this is the shaft torque. So this is the characteristics of torque versus armature current. We will discuss the next one that is uh, speed and armature current, speed versus armature current. So we have the relation between speed, n is directly proportional to Eb by flux, this relation we know, right. So here Eb for a DC series motor is V minus Ia into Ra plus Rac, right. So this is this uh, voltage equation we know, back MF is equal to V minus Ia into Ra plus Rac and this flux depends on current Ia, flux depends on current Ia. So in this case, now the values of Ra and Rac are values of this armature resistance and series field winding resistance are so small that are very small that the effect of change in IA, the effect of change in IA on the speed overrides the effect of change in the whole equation, overrides the change in whole equation. So in such case we can uh, equate this, the back EMF is very nearly equal to the applied voltage, very nearly equal to the applied voltage since the resistance, armature resistance and series field winding resistance are very less, the change in this is considered to be negligence. So we can equate back EMF to the E. In such case what happens? The N is only depends on the armature current in uh, inverse proportion. That is N is in the inversely proportional to IA, N is inversely proportional to IA. So if you draw the graph for this, keeping IA at the x-axis and N at the y-axis, since IA increases, the if IA increases, since it is in denominator, uh, N should decrease, N should decrease. So if you draw the graph, it will be somewhat like this. It will be somewhat like that is uh, as IA increases, as IA increases, the speed decreases. As I increases, speed decreases. So this is about the second characteristics. Uh, we have the last characteristics that is uh, speed versus speed versus torque. Speed versus torque. 
so this speed versus torque again we know this uh, this can be from the last equation it is m directly proportional to from the last assumptions made m directly proportional to 1 by i a right 1 by i a for series motor we know torque is directly proportional to i a torque developed is directly proportional to i a square this we have seen from the first characteristic so here i a can be written as i a is directly proportional to square root of t a if you take squaring on a root on both side mm. it will be i a directly proportional to square root of t a so this n is indirectly proportional to we can write as square root of t a square root of t a so if you represent this in a graph with taking torque on the x axis and speed on the y axis uh, since as torque increases since it is in denominator the speed will decrease again so this uh, here also the graph will be somewhat like this so this relation or this characteristics is very much similar to the previous characteristics that is versus a uh, speed versus that is speed versus armature current characteristics so characteristics of uh, speed versus armature current and speed versus torque are almost same so this is about the characteristics of the dc series motor thank you